Hey guys, this is going to be a very short video from Cypress Textiles, um, and I'm making a half solid hexagon. I'm going to start with a slip knot, and then we're going to make a ring as usual. So I like to chain three. You can use whatever method of making a ring that you prefer. And then in the third chain from the hook, in my case, I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to make a slip stitch to make a ring and then in my ring I'll make a beginning DC so that's a, a, a single crochet first so I go straight into making a single I don't chain up or anything and then make a chain and that's my beginning DC I'm gonna make one more chain for my corner and then going straight straight back into my ring I'll make two double crochet and a chain one and that's my repeat and I'm gonna do that two more times two DC chain one two DC chain okay one. so here I have so far what my row looks like after those two more repeats and I've got the chain one on my hook and I'm just gonna make one more double crochet in my center ring but I'm gonna pull my tail tight and right what I'm gonna show you guys uh, right now is how I bury my tail as I go on these half motifs. So normally on a full motif, you just go around and around and bury your tail as you go. But since I'm about to turn this motif over, I want to, right in the middle of this final DC, before I make my final swoop through these two loops, I wanna take my tail and just bring it in between my hook and the yarn. So I'm gonna put it to the back. And that way when I make my final swoop for this DC, my tail is trapped. So you can see that's how I start to bury my tail as I go. So now I'm gonna turn um, counterclockwise my motif. I always turn counterclockwise because it puts me in the perfect position to work my next row. So you'll see if I turn counterclockwise, my tail is at the back and my sides are not going to look um, pretty, even though we're gonna work over them. This has just become a habit over the years. So. I'm going to turn my motif counterclockwise every time and that way you can see my yarn tail is just right in the front ready to be worked over and I carry the yarn tail up the um, inside of the side not around the outside so you won't be able to see whenever my yarn tail is carried up and I don't um, do a chain up you might know that I do what I call a beginning DC instead so working over this tail I'm gonna go straight into my chain space. So you see I'm trapping my leading yarn and my tail when I go into that chain space. So that way when I go straight into my beginning DC, I'm gonna make a single crochet. I'm not chaining up, I'm not slip stitch, nothing. Just, just do it, just go straight into it and then make one chain and that's my beginning DC. So my tail is trapped. I'm gonna make one chain for my corner and then I'm gonna go into the chain space again with a DC, remember to go over your tail again. So this is the back of the work. The, the right side is our first row. So I'm going to hold my tail kind of in front. That way when I trap it, it doesn't show on the front of the piece. If, I was, if this was my right side, I'd be holding it back here. But since this is my wrong side, I'm gonna hold it in the front. So I'm gonna work into these DC stitches with a DC two DC here, right? So I've got one and two. And then I'm gonna go into my chain space with my corner, which is DC, chain one, DC. All right, so now I'll just keep going around. Two DC, okay? And my corner again, DC chain one, DC. Okay, and once you get to your final corner, all right, so that's what we've got going so far. Now we're in our final chain space and we're just gonna make our corner like normal, DC, chain one, DC. All right, so that is uh, row two sorted. And I'm not gonna continue on working with my tail because it's so short. I'll just be clipping that off. So now I'm gonna turn, again, turn your motif counterclockwise. 
So now you're going to work over your leading yarn with a beginning DC straight into your chain. All right, so a single crochet, chain one for my beginning DC, then one more chain for the corner. Go straight into that space with a DC so that you make your, your corner complete. And now we're going to work into these four DC stitches with some more DC here. Two, three, and four. And then in our corner, again, DC, chain one, DC. And I'll be back once I'm at the final edge, so I'm just gonna work my four DC in my corner again, four DC and then my final corner, and then I'll show you guys how it looks when it's all done. Okay, so here's how we're looking once the motif is complete. So you've got everything finished, your final corner is done, DC, chain one, DC. And now we're ready to go ahead and, ma and make my um, slip stitch so that I'm gonna tighten up to secure it and make our tail, bring up our tail and cut it. Okay, so now we've got our tail ready for um, joining on later, but these are for the happy little tree blanket. So there's also a rose um, hexagon involved and you can jump over to cypresstextiles.net to see that free pattern uh, expanded just for absolute beginners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this half hexagon and I will see you guys for the next video. Happy crafting y'all.